Hello, welcome to Weekend Thoughts. In previous video, we have studied about arrays in Java. And in today's video, we will see how can we implement array list and hash map in our program. So, let's get started. Now, before starting with array list, let me tell you that Java generally supports four type of interfaces, which are list, set, deck, and map. An array list will help us to implement interface list. And by using hash map, we will be implementing interface map. List interface will allow you to arrange your data in list format. And map will allow you to store every unordered data in a sequence of key and value pairs. To implement array list in my program, I have to use this class list. List interface may contain as many items as you want. And here we have to create instance of our list class. But before that, inside our diamond operator, we have to specify what is the data type of items or what type of items we will be storing in our list. Now remember, each item should be instance of a class. And let me create instance or object of this class, which I'll name it as list equal to and I'll initialize this list to print my array list. For that, I'll use class array list. Inside that bracket, you can pass size of your array list. If you know what size of a list you want to create or you can keep it blank too. I will keep it blank. That means I don't want to limit size of my array list. So let's go ahead and add some data inside my array list or my list. For that, I'll use instance of my list class and method add. And the value I'll be passing are India list.add New Delhi and I'll simply print my object or my instance of list class. And there I have whenever I'll call this object of list class, it will call string method that will add pair of brackets around my data and my each data will be separated by commas. So let's go ahead and add some more elements or data inside that list. So I'll simply add Bhutan and Thimpu and I'll output that list again. And there we have India, New Delhi, Bhutan, Thimpu. These are the four elements of four data inside my array list. So this is how you can add data inside your list. And let's see how you can remove some data from that list. For that, I'll use another method that is list.remove and I'll pass on index value of 3. And remember, index value will always start from 0. That means we will be removing Thimpu from our list. And in next line, I'll simply output my list. Run this code and there we have our output without our value Thimpu. That means we have removed data on index value of 3 by using our method remove which is inside of our list class and which will take input of our index value. And to access specific data from list, I'll use method get which will again take input of index value. So let's see. String name is equal to list.get2. So my string variable name will be assigned value which is present at index 2. Index 2, I am having value of Bhutan. And next line, we are simply printing that string variable name. So let's go ahead and run this code. There it is. Bhutan is a beautiful country. I love every time spent in Bhutan. So here we are getting data which is present at the index value of 2. And that is Bhutan. So get method will simply return value present at given index and here we are storing that value in our string variable name and in next line we are simply printing that string variable. So that's how you can get value by referring its index number. But there is also another method in list class that will return your index number if you will pass exact data and that method is index of. Let me go ahead and show you the implementation of that method. Here you can see we have created integer position and that integer position has been assigned by the value returned from my method list.indexof. And inside that bracket, I'll pass my exact data whose index I want to print. So list.indexof inside bracket new delhi semicolon and in next line, I'm simply printing my integer variable position which is holding the index value of data New Delhi. So let's go ahead and run this code. And there we have index position of New Delhi is 1. Because at 0 position we have our value India. And at first position we have New Delhi. And Bhutan 
is in second position and we have already removed Thimpu from our list. So that's all about array list and now we will see hash map or how can we use hash map in our code to arrange our data. Hash maps are used to represent unordered data. So each value in hash map will be represented by key and value pairs. I'll show you here what I'm talking about. In previous program, we used to use list or interface list to implement array list. And here we will be using interface map to implement our hash map. So our class map and as you can see, it will accept two values in key and value format. And inside that diamond operator, we will pass data type of a key and again data type of my value. And now I have to create instance or object named as map1. And then I'll initialize it with new hash map. So again inside diamond operator of hash map, now it's not necessary to specify your data type. But inside diamond bracket of your map, you have to specify data type of your key and value pair. So what are the key and value pair? I'll show you by implementing small code. And to add some data inside my hash map, I'll use put method of my map class. And inside bracket, I'll pass two values of string data type. First one will be key and next one will be value. So Bhutan is the key here and Thimpu is my value. And to store this value inside my map, I'm simply using method put of my class map. So let me put here some other values. India, New Delhi. Now I'll output this object of class map. And here we get our output. So whenever I'll output this object, I'll call string method, which will print pairs of a bracket around my data and separate my key and value by equal sign. And again separate this key and value pair by adding commas after each key and value pair. So this is our output. First is a key and second is a value. So here Bhutan is the key and Thimpu is the value. India is the key and New Delhi is the value. And let me add some values inside that map. I'll add another pair of a key and values that is Nepal and Kathmandu. Nepal is the key and Kathmandu is value. So I'll simply print here my updated map and there we have it had added another pair of key and values that is Nepal and Kathmandu. So as we were doing in array list where we were accessing our data by passing index value, we can also do that here by simply passing value of key and the name of a method we will be using is get which is in our map class. So, string name is equal to map1.get and inside bracket, I'll pass my key, that is Bhutan. So whatever value is, that value will be assigned to my string variable name. And in second line, I'm simply printing that my string variable name. Let's run this code. And here I'm getting output. Bhutan is my key and Thimpu is my value. When I'll use get method to ask, Okay, simply tell me what is the value that my key Bhutan is pointing at. So it will return us the value that Bhutan is pointing at, that is Thimpu. And that value will be stored in our variable name. And finally, we are printing that name in next line. So let's try to remove some value by using the key. For that, I'll use remove method from my map class. And it will be map one dot remove and inside bracket, I have to pass key whose value I want to remove. So I'll simply pass here Bhutan and in next line, I'll be printing my updated map. Let's run this code and there we have, we have successfully removed value Thimpu whose key is Bhutan. And remember, if you'll remove value, you will also be removing key of that value. So these are the simple implementation of an array list and hash map. An array list will be used to represent ordered data and hash map will be used to represent unordered data. So this is the simple concept of array list and hash map in Java and the simple way you can implement those in your code. Well that's all for this video. So I'll see you in next video where we will learn something about polymorphism in Java.